All right, so this is the travel review for chapters six through eight. Please remember that the study list is going to be the major thing that you want to use as your review tool. This is not going to cover all of the concepts that are on the test, but it is going to cover some of them. All right, so name the following groups. Groups 1, 2, 17, 18. Pause the video if you need to, and then I'll flip it and you'll see the next question. All right, two, what divides metals, nonmetals, and metalloids on the periodic table? And what is an exception to that division on the periodic table? Number three, across a period, so moving left to right across a period, do the following increase, decrease, or stay the same? Atomic radius, ionic radius, electronegativity, ionization energy. Why? What changes in the atoms lead to these trends? So you definitely need to understand what's happening to the atoms that is changing the trends from uh, as you go across the period. Okay, so atomic radius, ionic radius, electronegativity, ionization energy. All right, same question for down a group. As you go down a group, do the following increase, decrease, or stay the same? Why? All right, number five. For the element Se, complete the following. Write its full electron configuration. Determine how many valence electrons it has. Part C is, is it going to gain or lose electrons to be stable, and how many? Part D, abbreviated electron configuration of the ion. So after it does whatever you said in Part C, what is its abbreviated electron configuration? Part E, what is the symbol of the ion after it does Part C? And finally, Part F, what is the name of the ion? Okay, if you don't remember this stuff, go back to chapter 7. Six, draw the structure of CO3 2 minus with its resonance structures. So draw the Lewis structure of CO3 2 minus, and I'm telling you it has resonance, so you're going to have to draw more than one. Make sure that you know that resonance means it has more than one on the test. All right, seven, explain the following properties of ionic compounds. A, physical state at room temperature. B, melting points, like what kind of melting points do they have, high or low, and why? C, conductivity. Can they conduct? When can they conduct? Why? Make sure you address all of those parts. All right, number eight. Monatomic versus diatomic. First, write the definition of each of those. Next, write which elements are monatomic and write which elements are diatomic. This is not a list of hundreds or even twenties, okay? We're looking at single digit number of elements that are monatomic and single digit number of elements that are diatomic. And then why for the monatomic? Why are the monatomic elements monatomic? Okay, and then our last question is what we were doing on the shapes lab. You're going to take HCN and NF3, and you're going to go through the entire shapes lab process. Total valence electrons in the molecule, the electron dot structure, or the Lewis structure, molecular shape of the molecule, bonds. Are the bonds polar or nonpolar? Make sure you show your work for the bonds. A little subtraction problem. Symmetry, is the molecule symmetrical, yes or no? And then molecular polarity, is the molecule as a whole polar or nonpolar? Which intermolecular forces are present in the molecule? Dispersion, dipole, hydrogen bonding, okay? So it could be all three of them, it could be two of them, it could be one of them. Make sure that you address each one. And then finally, melting point. Which one of those two compounds has a higher melting point? Okay, so now I'm going to try and show you the key. So if you haven't finished yet, make sure you pause the video so that you can look at the key after you've tried it all. Remember, if you can do these questions, you're in really good shape for these topics, but you still need to study your entire review sheet 
in order to make sure that you are ready for the test. Everything on the review will be on our test. Okay, here we go. Here's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's see here, there we go, there's seven, number eight, and number nine. I know you can see 10 kind of peeking in there, but we skipped number 10 this year, we don't want number 10. Okay. There we go. That's our travel review. Make sure that you study your chapter six study list.